Hi everybody, it's me, Lala. Thanks for stopping by to watch another video. Welcome to my new subscribers and welcome back to my subscribers who have been with me for a while. I appreciate your support of my channel and I hope you enjoy this video. I just want to do a quick little review and show you guys. Last year, when we were down in Maryland, we picked up this Sport Cabana. Um at the big lots and it was I believe it was 50% at least 50% off it might have even been 75% off but we did not pay this amount for it but it is the Copa Sport Cabana and we had gotten it um, at the end of the summer last year in preparation for using it at the shore this summer. Um, this is an FPS 50 sun protection and it is a sun shade that you can use at the beach, you could use it at a picnic, you could use it at an outdoor concert, you could use it in your backyard for the littles when they play outside. Um, as a shade area to get into. You could also possibly use it for your animals outside, um, but not as a permanent fixture outside for the animals. But um, it's, you know, sporting events, camping, and it's by the Copa brand. And this was at the Big Lots. And so. I will show you what it looks like set up. Okay, so we're planning on possibly going to the shore this weekend. Um, we're not sure what day, either Saturday or Sunday. And as always, when you have a new product that you're going to use, you want to do a test run or a test setup before you go to use it the very first time and it just allows you to work out any kinks to get familiar with the setup of it and so Chewy set it up here in our backyard and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It is four and a half feet tall from the bottom to the top. It is four feet deep from the front to the back and it is about nine feet, a little under nine feet from side to side. Um, and it is pla a nice heavy gauge plastic on the floor part of it. You have two vent windows here that can either be zipped up to block the sun completely or you can open it and let the flap down on the other side and you have, you know, air ventilation right there. There are two pockets on the inside. Those could hold, you know, um, cell phones, wallets, anything like that. It's a nice color. It's like a teal green and a brick red. And here's the flap that can be zipped up either to close the window or have it open. Chewy said that it was a very easy setup. Um, he says though that you do want to practice it before you use it the first time just to be sure you know how to set it up. But he said it can go up in less than 10 minutes once you get, you know, once you realize how to do it. And we got this because Louise is very, very fair skinned and, you know, she gets very tired out in the sun very easily. And so we wanted to have a place for her where she could sit inside or she could lay down inside and be protected from the sun. Um, it, this is plenty big enough for two beach chairs if you wanted to put those in there. There's also plenty of room along, you know, you could put along the back side all of your supplies for the day, coolers, blankets, towels, um, you know, things like that. And Chewy said that that would be a good idea 
to weight it down. Now it does come with four spikes that go on the corners and then in the back corners on the other side. And he says that do not, when you're setting it up, do not put all four spikes in at once like it says in the directions. You're going to want to leave at least one of the spikes out until you get these flexible rods in. And then once those are in and set properly, you'll want to put the, the last spike down into the ground. Um, also too, you have ties up here that will secure the uh, cabana to the flexible rods here. And we're very excited about this. Louise is very excited about it too. Um, you know, if you have somebody that is very sun sensitive, if you have a very young child or a very, you know, an older um, adult that can't sit out in the sun or does not like to be out in the sun, sometimes when you're at the shore or you're out in the weather in the sun, you just want to have a little bit of shade. And this is an absolutely fabulous um, way to, you know, have a little bit of shade when you get tired. And so I wanted to share this with you. Um, the original price on this was $29.99. Chewy says that he feels that it is worth $29.99. Um, but since we are after the 4th of July and we are moving into the fall um, season, you may be able to find this on sale at the big lots or find one that's similar someplace else but again you know if you have somebody that is super sensitive to the sun or you know is fair skinned blue eyed maybe maybe you have a ginger snap or you have a ginger in your family this would be something that you would want to invest in um, if you took your animals to the shore with you, this would definitely be some place that they could, um, you know, get some relief from the sun. So I just wanted to show this to you. We are very, very excited. Louise is very excited. And is there anything you want to add, Chewy? Nope. You no, you think I got it all? What were you saying about the spikes now again? Don't put all four because I already said it. Well, the directions say to put this rod in. Put this rod in. Right. And then there's holes for the, the rod at each end. Right. And then put those two stakes in. Right. But then it tells you to put the two stakes in the back before you put those rods in. Right. Don't do that. Okay. Put the rods in first. Put them in the little hole that's in the rubber thing in the back. Right. Then put the stakes in. Okay. It's very hard to get the rod to bend and go into the little hole okay. that's supposed to hold it when okay. the stakes are already in. Okay. So I hope you guys got that. <laughs> so don't put all the stakes into the ground until you have all the rods set in the cabana. So thanks so much for stopping by. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are familiar with these. Do you have one? Have you used one? Um, you know, would it be something that you would like? Would it be useful for you? And um, if you can think of any other uses for it, put it down in the comments too, because that may that may help somebody. That may help somebody too. So thanks so much for stopping by. Everybody be happy, healthy, and safe. And I will see you again very, very soon.